For the past 10 months, Joshua Strunna walked the streets of Colorado a free man. The only thing tying him to the charges of possessing thousands of illegal videos and pictures of naked children was a $300 bond. $300. $300 was all he had to post. I mean, that's pocket change for someone who had over 6,000 images. System failed. There's just, there's no doubt about it. But court documents allege that $300 bond didn't do enough to persuade Strana to stop preying on children. In the time since Strana was released on bail, Nine News has learned police say he committed two counts of sexual assault against at least one child. A guy like this with his history and that type of charge, uh, the, kids in this, the kids in this country deserve better than that. Justin Smith's jail in Larimer County is at capacity. The sheriff says he would have made room for one more. Hell yes, in a heartbeat. It's unclear why the judge set Strunna's bond so low, considering the charges of possessing 6,000 files of child pornography. The amount is really odd. Uh, typically, a felony bond is in the thousands of dollars, not hundreds. Judges consider a variety of factors when deciding bond. When a judge sets a bond, he or she's really focusing not just on the allegations, because the defendant is presumed innocent, but also what the connection of the defendant is to the community, how likely it is that that individual will abscond. Just $300 helped make it possible for Strana to allegedly prey on at least one more. You know, when this comes back around, you look at it and say, well, how could you not see this coming? Strana is in jail today in Adams County. That's where the alleged assault happened. His original case for child pornography was never adjudicated. There's no timetable for when those cases could be heard. Alex? All right, Mark, thank you.